Honestly, the first moment where I really felt like I was going to be okay um, was a week after. When I got home, the day that it happened, I, I actually I cried until I didn't have any more tears. And then the, the second day, I, I cried a lot, but I didn't run out. And the third day was better still. I was pretty close to the incident, and I desperately wanted to find out if the coach that I um, was in the room with I, I really wanted to find out if he was okay. And eventually I, I found out that he had passed away. He had died a hero. But honestly, I, I, I spent a lot of years feeling guilty. Like I had this irrational belief that since I hadn't saved him, I had essentially killed him. Um, but again, it's irrational and, and it lasted for years, honestly. Um, but through a lot of work and a lot of therapy and just being able to acknowledge reality and, and the fact that I was a kid, you know, I was 15 and that it wasn't my fault. From that day forward, it, it just, it seemed like there was just a pool of peace that slowly kind of rose and things really just got better every day. There are just so many good things in the world. There's good food, there are good friends and kindness is everywhere, things that I, I really appreciate now are just being able to hang out with little kidlets and chase them around and spend time with them. We need to keep people who have fallen in our hearts. And I think that the best way to honor their memory is to be inclusive and be kind and, and treat people who are still here with the dignity and the respect that they deserve and the kindness that you would love to have.